So where are folks supposed to go when they're beyond the inspiration point of beginning a startup and they really want to be around other folks who are doing things? I love this question. It was the, it was the first one submitted into our, uh, you know, asking for startup questions anonymously. And uh, this one was specifically focused on the Portland startup community, but I think it's broadly applicable to a wide variety of startup communities. And, and that's why I loved it so much. I'm not gonna identify the person who asked the question. That's the beauty of being able to ask these questions anonymously. But uh, there's also another factor at play here, which I'll describe later, but starting with a very basic question, which honestly is the same question that inspired us to start Pi 15 years ago, which was a group of founders who are actively pursuing startup ideas, projects that didn't really feel like they had a peer group to engage with. So this is one I've spent a lot of time thinking about and then one that I think is common across a variety of startup communities. So I hope by answering this one, uh, not only will uh, I help this founder, but also people in other communities and, and hopefully inspire you to submit your question anonymously about, about startups and startup communities and that sort of thing. So <laughs> the basis of the question is people talking about startups versus people doing startups or pursuing startups. And, and it's a tough one because in startup communities, broad generalization, but in my experience with startup communities, the vast majority of events in startup communities, 80 to 90 percent, are purely focused on inspiration and aspiration. And by that I mean bringing startup folks, investors, to stage to inspire people to pursue their dreams. To, to help provide some kind of aspirational target for people who are thinking about potentially doing a startup but really haven't made the leap yet. Because that, that's a much broader audience. Like people who are like, oh, I could do a startup or oh, I've seen Shark Tank or I would like to do this thing. Like that's a much larger population of people who are going to want to attend your event. Therefore, people tend to program in that regard. They're like, let's bring people to stage to kind of talk about how they did it, how they recommend people do it, inspire people to pursue their startup. But as a founder, there's a point in time where you go from, I want to be inspired, I want to think about what I could do, to I've actually made the leap and I'm doing this thing. And once you make that shift in your head, once you decide as an entrepreneur or a startup founder that you're going to be building this thing, that you're going to pursue this thing, you suddenly lose interest in kind of the inspirational, aspirational kind of events. You don't wanna hear about what might be or what could be. You suddenly have real problems. You suddenly have things you're struggling with. You have things you're thinking through about how you want to accomplish, and you want to associate with other people who are currently going through it. Other people who are just getting stuff done, other people who are figuring stuff out. And for that, the aspirational, inspirational events can seem like not as valuable to you when you're actually doing something. So what do you do if you've decided to make the leap and you're actively working on a startup. What kind of events do you go to? How do you find your people? How do you find folks that are doing things? 
And that's when you need to shift your focus from these traditional other founders on stage telling you about how it could be to very either tactical events that are like user group level, language level based, um, you know, infrastructure based kind of events, you know, potentially people at other corporations who are talking about how they use particular technology or tooling to get things done. And also very tactical events, but also like very visionary kind of futuristic events about particular verticals or technologies that you're pursuing, like an AI event or a healthcare event or a FinTech event. So things that help you both craft your broader vision about what you want to get done, but also people who are very, being very tactical about accomplishing something. And what you will find as a founder or somebody seeking a co-founder is once you move away from those inspirational, aspirational events to tactical or visionary events, so other sides of the spectrum, you will start finding the people you need to be around. You will start finding those potential co-founders or collaborators. You will find the people you need, which is a little counterintuitive because you think you should just be going to the startup events. But you should be going to the events that are either very tactical or very strategic. The other benefit of this and the other facet of this question that was interesting to me is like, what if I'm in a corporation and I'm feeling that itch? I'm feeling like getting started on something new or I want to start a side hustle. Because the other problem with many corporations is they don't necessarily want you thinking about that startup or that side project. You don't want to be running into other people from your organization who are like, oh, are you thinking about doing a startup? Or are you working on a side project? So the other benefit of going to these kind of very tactical or very visionary events is you can totally fit in while still in the corporate environment. You are there in pursuit of something that could benefit your employer or it could benefit you personally or both or whatever but it also gives you a bit of camouflage as that founder as you're preparing your side hustle as you're kind of getting into it as you're moving from being a aspirational startup founder to an actual startup founder these events not only help you find your peer group, but people who are actually doing things, kind of starting to identify who people who may work alongside you who are also working side hustles, but also kind of protect you and camouflage you as you're starting to figure that stuff out. So uh, if you are in that mode of, I've decided I want to do this, I'm already working on this, please start stepping back from the inspirational, aspirational, other founders talking about what they've done to focusing on events that are user group, tactical, activation kind of events or far more broad, kind of like vertical, visionary kind of events. And I think by doing that, no matter what community you're in, by doing that, by attending those kind of events, you will find that you start to encounter other folks like you, other founders who are actually doing things, other people who are actually pursuing things, whereas at the inspirational, aspirational events, you'll find more people who are kind of thinking about potentially doing something. And as a founder, as somebody who's actually doing something, the aspirational and inspirational people are going to be a bit of a waste of time for you. You need a peer group of people who are actually pursuing things. So hopefully that answers that question that was submitted. If you have a question, provide the link below, but would love to hear startup questions from you. You can ask them anonymously. If I can answer them off the cuff and unedited, I will. Uh, 
and if I need to go back to the community and say, what do you think about this? I'll get that feedback as well. But hopefully that helps. Hopefully that provides some guidance for you. And uh, good luck with finding your peer group of people who are actually getting things done and who are working on things rather than thinking about potentially pursuing a startup. <laughs>